Today marks a special day in that the car is done as far as the five lug and four wheel disc conversion goes. So, I know you're dying to see it, but first I'm going to recap here real quick what we have done. Man, that's a lot. New rear end, new springs, upper lower control arms, front ball joints, new brakes, SD95 uh, spindles, rear brake and rear disc conversion kit, wheels and tires, <sighs> polyurethane, um, spring isolators, and I'm sure I'm missing something, but let me tell you this. I drove it yesterday. I got it on all fours, and I got out, and I was able to drive it. Man, it was a freaking blast. This thing is so much fun to drive. It took me a little bit because I had to align it, and what you're not seeing here is the fact that I pulled everything off of the front of the car again just to install the spring oscillators. Guys, I didn't want to reveal the car yet because it was too low in the front. Uh, not putting the spring oscillators on was a really bad idea. However, I spent one night out here again and I tore the entire front end apart and tore all the springs off, put the oscillators back on, put the springs back on. I mean the isolators on the springs and the ride is perfect. Last night I was out here in the dark and I did the string align method. I aligned the front wheels good enough so I can go drive it. I bedded the brakes in and I drove it and holy shit is this thing so much fun to drive. It stops like no other. Um, well screw it. Let me just show you. Y'all ready for the reveal? Let's do it. Yeah. So again, we did the SN95 Cobra 13 inch brake conversion, four wheel disc, five lug on 17 by nine on all fours. Nitto 555G2 tires and uh, SVE lowering springs with the front isolators installed and the rears not installed. So I think that gave me much more of a, a level look. So. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to get the suspension dialed in on this thing, and um, soon, hopefully, you'll be seeing me take this thing through some autocross courses with a buddy down the street here. He wants to autocross his big, bad, blown Camaro that is 700 horsepower, I believe. So, probably don't have a chance with him, but this little Ford's going to put up a fight. Okay, guys, so here she is. She's on all fours, and she's done. Let's take a quick walk around.
Hey guys, there you have it, man. Now, remember I mentioned she rides, rides awesome? So there is the final height. I just got the spring oscillators up in the front. It's nice and low. I think it's about exactly 25 and a half inches from the ground up to the top of the fender here. And um, yeah, the e-brakes hooked up. It's working. So it looks good and it runs even better. So we're gonna go for a drive here in a second. I'll let you guys see how well it runs. But I think the wheels turned out really good. I think the wheels fit the car very perfectly. I think the stance is pretty killer. Um, I just think the car just looks looks good. And this is kind of the look I was going for. This is everything kind of I wanted to look in a car. Um, I can't really drive it long distances. We can't take it off to a uh, you know, I don't need any major road trips or anything just yet because it does need an official alignment, which I've got scheduled for, I think, uh, tomorrow or maybe, it may be Friday. So we're going to get alignment for it. Also, I found a little problem here. So I guess I should start with that. Uh, the main things I, f I found, you know, it, I had issues with whenever I first got out on the road was the front end was too low. So, and the, the alignment on it was just absolutely terrible. This the camber on this guy is still, it's, it's tilted in a little bit too much. So that's good. I mean, it's got negative camber. The other side is pretty well even. So I got to bring this wheel out. It's got plenty of adjustments to, you know, to come out. Let's see if I can show you here. <clears throat> but the alignment was, the alignment was one major issue. You see the camber on that one's way off. And I sat here last night and the toe was so bad that I couldn't drive it at all. So I got the tow correct on it, or much closer, I can at least drive it. And <clears throat> at first, the brake pedal was way too stiff, man. I mean, it was like, I wasn't really happy with the brakes at first, but I kind of read that you need to, you know, bed in the brakes really good. So I did some pretty hard runs on it yesterday and stopped in an open road, found a good spot where I could just kind of hit the brakes and uh, slow it down. And uh, the brakes just all of a sudden started biting really hard and then, it was able to lock up the wheels, no problem. However, I got to adjust the bias. The back wheel locked up. And, I'll show you guys this here if I can. I don't know if you can see it here, but this caliper right here, and you probably can't see the leak, but the emergency brake cable, where it goes into the back, right here, the way these work is this actually twists it, you know, when you pull on the e-brake cable, it turns this lever, this lever goes up, and it actuates a screw-driven rod that pushes the piston up against the disc brake. So, the, it works, however, right now the disc brake is gotten looser and looser because this is actually leaking. So you can see a little bit of brake fluid right here, and you can see some of it wet up in here. So this seal is leaking. Um, there's a seal where that screw is. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to see if I can't remove these calipers or this caliper and fix the leak. So it's still not exactly 100% drivable, you know. That's kind of what the road test showed me was I was able to, you know, discover what needed to be fixed and worked on. So um, that was definitely it. Once I drove it, it had some leaks going on on the back wheel. So we'll get that fixed, and then um, should be able to actually really start driving it daily. So. So yeah, there she is. I gotta take this sticker off. I tried to remove this. I can't believe I had the sticker on since I bought it and I haven't had time to remove it yet. But, so the interior's looking much better. And um, you can see where the, the brakes have started to, to bed in. You know, they're starting to show its groove a little bit on where the brakes have been biting on it and also don't have lug nuts for that there are lugs in there they're just not fancy lugs so they're old school so this wheel since i had all four uh four four lug wheels with decent lugs um moving to five i've kind of ran out of lugs so i gotta find some new lugs before i get too serious so yeah let's pop the hood since it's outside just kind of go over all the work that was done Okay, so there is our master cylinder, that's the one inch, 
and I think it's actually going to turn out to be a perfect size. At first I thought it might be too small. Brake fluid has gotten low because of that leak. Uh, the bias has been adjusted and it's, it's a little bit better, but like I said, the, the back wheel is locked up on me and the car stops very, very hard. I mean, it is amazing how awesome this thing stops now. But, um, yeah. Man, so going over the conversion list again, look at this. So, this is everything that we've done on the car since I bought it five months ago. We're talking about plugs, fat mat insulation, floor replacement, carpet install, short throw shifter, 373 gears on a new axle, shifter boot I still need. I uh, got the AC working, inner tie rods fixed, and the whole front steering rack replaced. We pour 15, the bottom of the floor, put sound ending in it, sun frame connectors I welded in, um, riveted all the fuel lines, of course, the shifter install. Uh, well the plate, I don't know what that is here, hooked up a new e-brake, put new shocks in it, uh, painted the calipers, put sway bars, numbers. so this list goes on and on. We have axles in it, control arm installs, proportioning valves, gutting, main proportioning, manual proportioning valve install, front and rear calipers and rotors for 5 lug SD95 spindles and a 1 inch bore master cylinder off a of Cobra. We put wheels and tires on it, we checked the brake fluid and everything else. So. This is all done within six months when I bought the car back in October. So, so man, I don't know about you guys, but I, I just can't even, I can't even tell you how excited I am to have this car running. Last night, there was a grin on my face this big, like I was 18 or 19 years old again. And um, yeah, it's a good feeling to put that amount of work in all these hours just non-stop labor, blood, sweat, cuts on your hands, cussing, open up your wallet a thousand times, and um, have a vision in your mind of what you want the car to look like to actually start getting there. So it's far from done, but man, she's really come a long way since we started in the very first part one of these videos in these series. So project's nowhere near done. You know, once I get the suspension and brakes dialed in and actually start handling, we're gonna drive it. So I'm gonna take the video out, on the camera with me and we're gonna go on some road trips, I think. So, take some driving, maybe do some autocross. Um, but guys, we've come a long way and I thank every one of you for watching all these videos and watching the 5 look conversion and stick with me up until the end. Hopefully you learned something, maybe you just find entertainment or maybe just a fox body head like I am and you just absolutely love, love these old Mustangs because they are so much fun to drive. If you've never driven one, you've seen this for the first time, I highly recommend putting it on your bucket list of things to do before you die. Get yourself in a fast little box body Mustang and go for a drive. And um, like I said, they are a blast to drive. They're lightweight, short wheel base, big wheels and brakes and tires, and um, a lot of torque. So they're fun as hell to drive. But I'm going to wrap it up. This is the shortest video, and that's okay. I just want to show you guys the Revealing of the Fox Mustang on all fours, on its new springs, and um, stopping on its own power. So, it's a lot of work, man, and more to come. Stay tuned.